Hey, I'm Nancy Jutton, and I'm the Get Known to Get Made mentor and also the author of the Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook. And today I want to share a powerful training about the common bio blunders that stop many clients from stopping short of doing business with you and what you can do instead. I had the wonderful opportunity to deliver this training to a entrepreneurship group a couple of weeks ago, and I got so many requests for the replay that wasn't within my control that I decided to re-record it so I could share it with you, and I hope you enjoy it. So bear with me as I bring up the slides, and we will get this party started. Okay. All right. Here they come, slideshow from the beginning, display settings, and here we are. There we are. Don't you love when a plan comes together? We're going to talk today about the ABCs of common bio blunders and how to use your bio to broadcast your brilliance as a speaker with a message worth sharing. So I hope you're as excited about this content as I am to deliver it to you. I want you to show up like a pro at hello to welcome the results that you want. And in this COVID-19 scenario in which we find ourselves, speakers need to speak more virtually more often than not versus live. And I want you to be able to make your impact and feel fabulous about your message and your mission. So why would you wanna to listen to me? I took to the live or virtual stage over 100 times over the last couple of years, and I am the author of the Amazon best-selling preview for Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook, and the full-length workbook debuts on September 8th, 2020, and it's even better than I ever could have believed it could be, and I can't wait for you to get your hands on it. But I have been helping speakers, experts, and authors to broadcast their brilliance and showcase their, their awesomeness online and on paper since 2009. And I don't think there's anyone else on the planet that's better qualified to share this content with you with the level of passion and insight that I get to bring to you today. So I'm very, very excited to have this opportunity. I have been keeping com very fine company with big names like Tiamo De Vittori and Mark and Shannon Granger and millionaire marketing mentor Adam Urbanski and of course the virtual trainer to virtual trainers worldwide Alex Mandosian. So that gives you an idea of the kind of company that I'm keeping and where my expertise has been valued and appreciated and helped to open up big doors for people like this and stars on the rise. So I'm well known, credible and inspired to support your success. So why speaking? You know, I'll never forget the time that a mentor I had told me that if I didn't embrace speaking, virtual or otherwise, that I would have one hand tied behind my back in terms of achieving the success that I desired. I wasn't happy with those odds, but to tell you the truth, speaking wasn't my favorite thing. I'm a writer, a journalist, someone who likes to use the written word to express herself. Getting in front of a microphone, getting in front of a camera, showcasing myself in, in this very bold way, it really wasn't my first choice. But I wasn't happy with the odds around not creating success using speaking, so I decided to go kicking and screaming to speaking, and I'm so glad that I did because it has opened up brilliant doors for me and it will open brilliant doors for you, whether you're speaking virtually or on a live stage or in any way that you want to. Now, as a speaker, you're gonna to wanna to introduce yourself to an audience in a winning way so that they can't wait to hear what you have to say. And there's a lot of mistakes being made in this regard that have shows starting off on the wrong foot. And that's what today's call is all about. I want to walk you through the ABCs of common bio blunders and what to do instead. So follow along. Let's start with the A's. Sometimes bios have so much hype that there's no proof. Absence of proof is a big problem. I often say that I'm all of the help and none of the hype and clients that have worked with me have said as much as well. When you mention that you're highly acclaimed, put some proof in that comments so people will believe you. Alphabet soup, major mistake. Sometimes people have so many letters to the right of their name that it's like alphabet soup and nobody knows what any of it means that you need a decoder ring to understand. If that is your situation, ask yourself which of those credentials is the most widely recognized and most meaningful to someone who's as young as nine years old. 
if you've got really obscure credentials that are not easily understood, lead with the one that has the greatest recognition and then offer the additional credentials elsewhere in the bio, but not in the headline. That will serve you very well and make you more approachable. Here again, acronym overload. Sometimes we have such a specific language or a way that we talk about ourselves that people don't understand. It sounds like Greek to them. I'll never forget the time that I was working for TRW at my very first job out of college. And I was working for the defense, defense systems group and everyone spoke in acronyms and I was brand new on the team and I didn't know what any of it meant. And so if you're speaking Greek to people and they don't understand what you're talking about, that doesn't make you very uh, approachable. So bring it down to a conversational level so people can actually understand it. And arrogance. Are you so awesome that you appear arrogant? If that's your brand, okay. But if it's not, check your arrogance at the door and be approachable. I think it will serve you well. B, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes we have years around our experience and we've done so many things and worn so many hats that we can't possibly figure out how to boil it down to its essential essence. Keep in mind what your primary objective is and ask yourself is the, if the wall of words that you've provided is really what is necessary to make your point. Chances are you can boil it down to 50 words or less and have it serve you very well. Is it boring? You know, years ago I worked for four different community banks as a publicist and every single bio read the same. I'm a MBA who graduated from Pacific Coast Banking School. I live in a prestigious neighborhood with my two and a half kids and I love to play tennis and play golf. They all read the same. None of them were the least bit eye-opening or stimulating. They just read like wallpaper, boring. If it's been a while since you've looked at yours, check it out and see if there's anything the least bit memorable about it. Is it boilerplate where everyone sounds the same, like a Whitney Houston song? If that's your case, switch it up and make it interesting. C, clarity is missing. So often I read bios from folks who wear so many hats that I'm not sure what hat they want to wear. And I'm reminded of something that Dr. Phil said. He said something to the effect of, you can't ride a horse with more than one arse. <laughs> And another person, I think it was Steve Olser, who said, if you try to chase two rabbits, you will catch none. And so if you're not clear about what outcome you are achieving for your ideal client so that it's crystal clear, you might have a bio that doesn't attract clients and that would be a shame. Sometimes your credentials are lacking. I remember working with someone who was a dating coach and when I asked her if she was happily in relationship with her dream mate or her soulmate, she told me that she was happily single living in a loft apartment with her cat. How can you be a dating coach and not have successful dating in your own life? Make sure that the music and the lyrics match so that people will believe you. Sometimes you have cute stories that aren't the least, the least bit compelling or relevant to what you're about. So make sure that there's a through line to the story that you tell so that it makes sense and holds together. And if it doesn't feel like a fit, cut it to the cutting room floor. Sometimes there's too little content or too much content, just like Goldilocks. And so if you're wondering how many words you should have in your bio, I challenge you, come up with 50 brilliant words that get to the meat of the matter and let that be your flagship message that you share in all the places that you need to so that people will know and be excited about what you have to share. If you give them too little, there's not enough for them to go on. And if you give them too much, they're full or they're not willing to read that much and you don't serve yourself or your potential client either. D, disconnected content that fails to tell a relevant story. It all, everything should have a through line and if it doesn't, leave it out. Failure to differentiate. Do you sound like every other author, speaker, coach on the planet? If so, shake it up. Make clear what sets you apart from everyone else. 
Remember, we're trying to attract clients here. So what kinds of stunning results do you bring about for your ideal client? And if you're not able to say that you've helped people transform from broke to brilliant in six months or less, or whatever the transformation is that you affect, go back to your bio and make sure that you show some results or drop some big names of people that you've had the privilege to work with or showcase some other impact that you've made so that people will have a head whip reaction and say, that's the kind of access to an expert that I want and I wanna journey forward with that person. And then of course, another D is disappointing to read because it reads like wallpaper. Don't let this be your fate. I, every sentence starts with I. Remember, we're trying to connect with an ideal client, which means that if we shift the focus from I to you, you just might include people more, even with the written word, and that is a brilliant outcome. Don't leave the impression that you're so amazing that you walk on water that people don't feel that they can approach you to have a conversation. And then don't overwhelm with too much information because too much information typically has people running in the opposite direction instead of your direction. The whys here, I'd like to have a little fun, yada, yada, yada. It's when the client says, you know, the usual stuff, let's get on with getting me onto Oprah or the Wall Street Journal or Barron's or Forbes. And I have to go back to the client and say, yada, 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 doesn't get it done. The about me page is probably next to the home page, the most visited page on your website. So make sure that when people land there, there's not just yada, 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 but yummy, yummy information that has them thinking this is the solution to the problem that I've been seeking to solve and I can't wait to do business. Yawn, nothing more need to be said about that. Yields a no instead of a yes. If you're not getting enough traction, it could be that when people read about you, they're just not interested. So what do you do instead? I'm a big fan of starting with a quote at the top of your bio that has some kind of statement of philosophy or something memorable or remarkable that is actually repeatable and tweetable. My husband is a certified financial planner and he's a fee only fiduciary um, certified financial planner. And at the top of his bio, it says this, People hire me for my head, trust me for my heart, and value me most when I use both. Right away, people go, wow, heart of gold with credentials that stand for ethics and looking after their best interest. What else does he have to say? And what do you know, he attracts clients regularly to his very successful financial planning practice. And that's just all about having a statement or of a philosophy right at the top. Another thing you can do if you don't have a quote of your own is to share, showcase a quote that someone has said about you. Sometimes the testimonials that people share about the impact that you've made on their business or life speak your value more than any words you could find on your own. So go ahead and consider that as a way to start your story. And then of course, you can always share a story that touches the heart, a nerve, or a dream. And I'll share with you one thing that I put on the back of my Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook. That's a story that I often tell that I feel is very relevant to how it is that I serve. And I say here, and an action taker and results maker since she was nine years old, Nancy once wrote a letter to the president of the Tootsie Pop Corporation to reveal how many licks it took to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. A few weeks later, she received a gilded certificate in the mail, letting her know that very few people on earth knew that the answer, but this certificate belonged to the one of the few who do. That single letter made her feel so important that she has been using words to see here and celebrate others so they feel important too, even since she was just nine years old. This kind of a story is one that lets you know that this path that I'm on is one that I've been on for decades. It's a gift, a talent, something that I'm so excited to share with people who need my help. And if that resonates with you, chances are we're going to be doing business. And if it doesn't, that's okay. But at least I've got the courage to tell a story about how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop and what that revealed about my desire to be seen, heard, and celebrated that hopefully lands and you'll be remembering it for a long time and maybe we'll be laughing about it over cocktails one day soon. Put your heart in your message and be specific about your topic and your audience because if you think you're going to talk about 
everything to everyone who has a pulse, you've got another thing coming. It's really important to specify who your ideal client is and what benefit they're going to get. And the best way to do that is to share some of the stunning results. Clients that I've worked with have welcomed lucrative speaking gigs without even leaving their home and have multiple podcast guests opportunities on their calendars so that they have control over their destiny, whether they leave their home or not. How brilliant is that? What are your stunning results and what do you, how do you bring them about? And can you specify them in your bio so people have a head whip reaction and say, this is the person I feel confident journeying forward with. And again, make mention what others are saying that make you amazing because it's those personal qualities and that your personal nature and the, the way you tend to detail or the way you manage the budget or whatever it is that you do, be clear about the wow that it's delivered for your client and how brilliant you are at delivering that to create that connection that leads to a conversation that can lead to cash. When you do this in 50 words or less, people will get you at hello. They won't be scratching their head and wondering what do they do and why does it matter and does it matter to me? You will attract connections and invite opportunities and your world will expand and that's wonderful. The upside there is for even more brilliant work is an expanding and exciting and even, and even a very real possibility. You know, when I get on a, a podcast and I know there's hundreds of listeners or maybe thousands of listeners and I show up as the best Nancy I know how to be and I pour in the value and I deliver the actionable strategies and I do it with joy and enthusiasm, there could be hundreds of people that will be coming back to my lead magnet or giving me a phone call or taking some action in my direction that I never would have met had I not raised my voice and made my impact in the first place. And these are the kinds of outcomes that I want for you. So what are some of the things that you can make happen as you describe who you are and who you serve in your message? One lesson is to make a counterintuitive tweak to your marketing message and to remember that your bio isn't necessarily about you, it's about how you serve others. Lead with the wow for others and they will be beating a path to your door. Don't just call yourself a professional speaker because that's a very generic non-head turning way to describe what you do. Decide to call yourself a motivational speaker who inspires young professionals to succeed in the first two years of their career, even if the job they have isn't a perfect fit. My client, Mark Howley, is a very successful business owner and a CEO. He decided he wanted to become a professional speaker and we had to decide, well, what kind of a speaker is he? Information, inspiration, motivation, or transformation. And then we figured out who his ideal audience is and what outcome they welcome. And now he has a completely specific way to describe what it is that he does and who he does it for. And is it any wonder that he's being invited to deliver keynote addresses at commencement events for major universities like the University of Washington? So if you want to be booked on live or virtual stages and you want to make it happen as soon as possible, consider who you know already. My first 20 gigs this year came from people I knew. I met them at live or networking events or, or educational events where I just showed up like a winner and connected like a human being. So if you want to make a winning approach to a decision maker who has the power and influence to bring you to their stage, live or virtual, here's what I suggest you do. Visit the website to find out who the decision makers are who make those decisions Look to see what they've covered in terms of content over the last several months and ask yourself if what you have to talk about would add value or be a fit given the ongoing theme that they have. And then approach the decision makers to, turn, to determine if there's an opportunity. Here's a template you can actually pick up your phone and take a picture of and just change the words to suit your situation. You go smiling and dialing and you call the decision maker and you say, I am a, and in this case, a motivational speaker who inspires young professionals to succeed in the first two years of their career, even if the job they have isn't a perfect fit. I've read about prior events you posted and wonder if this topic can add value and truly serve your community. I'd love to chat briefly about when, when, when ways to play is now good or shall we make a plan to call tomorrow? 
find a way to make five actions every day to ask for gigs for dis from decision makers who have the power and influence to bring you to their stage. When you practice the rule of five, taking five big actions in the direction of your goal, that is a principle of success created by Jack Canfield of the success principles. And when you work that principle, the principle works. So who are your people? It starts with you figuring out who your ideal client is, really. And where do they gather in large enough numbers where you can earn an opportunity to make your best impact? In today's virtual world, you may find yourself participating in Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups where people are talking and conversing and sharing ideas and possibilities. And I know for myself, I take an active role in these Facebook communities and I respond and I participate and I, it's not just about promoting, but it's about contributing and serving and answering questions and offering alternative points of view. And what I've noticed is that when I show up fully in the right Facebook groups, it often happens that the leader of that group reaches out to me and says, you've got a lot of excellent content. I love the way you show up. May I interview you for my podcast? Will you do a Facebook Live with me? Will you do this? Will you do that? Will you be on my summit? Will you be on my podcast? Will you be on my television show? It's all very organic the way I do it, and it can be that way for you too. And are you aiming high enough at the start? Listen, I know when you're just getting started, you might have anxiety about whether or not you've got your messages, whether your message is on the money, or whether you've got the confidence to deliver your message, or maybe you've got some visibility challenges and you think, gosh, if I could just do enough blog talk radio, I'd be fine. But the more practice you get, the more you work on your presence and your connection and your ease in delivering what it is that you have to share. And then you think, if I did it so well for mom talk radio or blog talk radio, maybe I should be on national public radio or Oprah or a much bigger platform. Because when you're on the bigger, bigger, bigger platforms and the bigger, more, more highly rated shows, you know what? There are a lot more people listening and watching, and that means that you can make more impact for the time that you have to share your message. So start leaning in to how big you can aim so that you can have the biggest possible audience to make your impact. So here's four questions to help you find your people while using your time wisely. What audience do you serve? What big result do they desire? Where do they gather? And can you narrow your focus to eight organizations, eight groups, eight clubs that would set the stage for the win, win, win? Why do I say just eight? Well, I don't know about you, but I have a challenge managing 100 points of light, but I can absolutely manage eight amazing relationships. And when I manage those eight amazing relationships and find ways to give first and open the door for me to be invited to, to receive as well, I can start adding additional people into my Hollywood squares, if you will, and I can all of a sudden have a Rubik's Cube of unlimited possibilities of people that I can collaborate with, connect with, do business with, and of course bring dollars into my shopping cart. So how do I do this? I love to teach speakers and experts so that they speak more and earn more. And I know that they gather where training events are happening, where tuition is paid. And so I try to narrow my focus to specific, specific decision makers for these audiences. In a virtual world, you can narrow your focus to eight Facebook groups that are full of your ideal client or eight LinkedIn groups or associations. There's so many possibilities, but you have to be first clear about who your people are in the first place. And so if you want to get booked to speak, please don't fall victim to author, speaker, coach, snooze, you lose disease, because that is an undifferentiated way to talk about yourself. When Morgana Ray approached me about upgrading her sizzling speaker sheet to have more wow factor, I said, we've got to do better than speaker, author, relationship with money coach. <coughs> Excuse me. So what did I suggest? that she positioned herself as the remarkably different, disarming and powerful relationship with money keynote speaker. 
so much more clear, compelling, and memorable. And what do you know? The first weekend she took this out for a spin in an audience of joint venture partners, she came away with five speaking gigs on her perfect audience. <coughs> Excuse me. So one of the bigger mistakes that people make is that they fail to share a sassy topic and they go generic. Don't let this be your fate. Find a way to talk about what you talk about in a way that's memorable, that's got some wordplay that gets to the meat of the matter in a way that people will actually be interested. And so what is your topic? Do you have one? Is it generic and not the least bit memorable? Or, and is there a result your clients want in the name? For years and years, I've talked about how to transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. I speak to the transformation that will happen and what the big win will be. Can you find a way to talk about what you talk about that has some kind of lyrical way to bring the wow that people actually, when they read the agenda, they go, wow, that's the, agenda, that's the event I want to attend. That's a must attend session. If you need help with that, well, you know, there's a lot of power under the tent over here to help you with that magnetic message. And I would love to help you with that. Let's see. So another mistake people make is they forget to declare how the audience wins. So transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. Attract clients now is how the audience wins. Either you want that or you don't. Either way, it's fine. But at the very least, I've made clear what's in it for you. And that is why it works. What is your topic? And once you have a topic, you want to have at least three bullet points that are on fire with possibility and impact. You want to talk about what's new, add some curiosity and intrigue, add some urgency and some specificity so that they just don't read so plain spoken. So here's an example. How to make a simple but completely counterintuitive tweak to your marketing message that will make you magnetically attractive to promoters, event organizers, and podcast hosts. This one change is so potent it can get you 10 times more bookings, yet 99 out of 100 speakers completely miss it. Doesn't that have you wondering, what is that tweak? And isn't there intrigue there? And boy, isn't there that something you'd want to show up for rather than asking for someone like me to send you the PowerPoint? And the answer to this particular bullet point is, it's not about you, it's about the wow you bring for your audience. And so you just wanna find a way to turn the message on its side so people are interested enough to show up. If you wanna be invited to play with big players, lead with a giving hand. I have been helping people transform their bios from wallpaper to wow to attract clients, media gigs, and speaking gigs now for over a decade. And in the early going, people started finding out about me, but more importantly, I started finding out about the people that could possibly be my partners before they ever knew my name. And I remember learning about Christine Closer and her transformational author experience and thinking to myself, I would so love to be aligned with her and her event. I wonder what I can do to make that happen. And as like life and the universe unfolded, someone for her team found out about me and asked me if I would be willing to contribute gifts to be part of her prize package for her experience. And I only was only too happy to say yes. Her audience was so happy to receive the gifts that I provided that one thing led to another. I sent her a copy of the first edition of the Bye Bye Boring Bio workbook, and she subsequently invited me to be a guest on her transformational author experience. And we aligned together in, in that way several years running and it turned into lots and lots of money for both of us. So if you lead with a giving hand and find the right strategic partner, it just so happens that they'll invite you back to be on their podcast, to be on their telesummit, or to interview you in some other way. And that's how you start to expand your inner universe and build more leads and clients and cash and lasting relationships in collaboration with people who are movers and shakers. Another powerful thing is to be an extraordinary guest and co-collaborator in ways that astound, delight, and surprise. 
I'll never forget the time that I was laying on a lounge chair on a vacation day in sunny San Diego where the wind was blowing and the trade winds were beautiful and the sun was shining and I was getting ready to read what I know for sure in my favorite Oprah magazine. And what do you know, my phone rings and guess who it was? It was National Public Radio. And here's how it went. The producer said, my name is Mary Price. I I'm calling you because we found you in a Google search and you teach people how to become an expert in their field. We have an opening for our show tomorrow at nine o'clock because the other guest can't be there and we need you to be there at nine o'clock virtually. Can you do it? Here I am in my bathing suit getting this phone call that I wasn't expecting, but here was the best part. I was already practicing one of my most powerful beliefs, which is to believe and behave as if the most important person was gonna call me tomorrow. And so without missing a beat, I said, Mary, I'm delighted to be asked. I'm happy to be on the show. And between now and when the phone hangs up, you will receive my photo, a picture of my workbook, the 10 questions I love to be asked when I'm interviewed, a short bio in the third person that makes it easy to introduce me. What else can I do to make this a fabulous experience for you and for your national audience? And that's when she laughed and she said, will you please teach the world to do what you just did? So that's what it is to be an extraordinary guest and to show up in ways that astound, delight and surprise. And when I showed up for the show, it was a great conversation. It was a beautiful connection. They subsequently invited me back several times and other people heard that show and invited me to be on their programs too. And what do you know, because I had a wonderful call to action, all kinds of leads came my way that I was able to turn into clients and cash. And there you have it. That's how you become a media darling. It all starts with what goes on between your ears which is with your mindset and to believe and behave as if the most important person was going to call you tomorrow so that you could respond in a winning way when it does. Because long before anybody knew my name, I was practicing that belief and I leapfrogged over other people far more well known to take my place in the microphone or the stage. And if you take that simple mindset tweak, you will too. Now, virtual speaking is very hot right now, and you may be wondering, where can I find these podcast guests, hosts, podcast shows where I can be a guest? And did you know that on Facebook, there are a whole bunch of communities that you can join for free, where you can start connecting with hosts and other guests to create all kinds of action in your business. And so you can simply take a picture of this slide, and you can join this podcast guest collaboration Facebook group and start learning how to navigate in the group, how to find a guest, be a host, get on a show, and see what kind of magic you can make. I know that this was a new discovery of mine not long ago this year, and I've done about 30 podcast interviews in, since March of 2020, and today it is August 24th, I think. So how many podcast interviews would you like to do how many leads would you like to attract to your business? And how quickly would you like to get started? Because when you start becoming aware of these avenues to make it happen, I don't know about you, but I find it very intoxicating not to go ahead and start playing the game because it's really rewarding when you do. So how much do you want your result to speak more and to earn more and to have control over your economic destiny, even if you can't even leave your house? I dare you to step up. I want you to decide that this is what you want to do and to ask for and apply for opportunities where you can share your message. I want you to resist the temptation to quit and I want you to take action right away because nothing happens without inspired action. I also want to tell you a little personal story. My dad was an actor in Hollywood and the thing about being an actor in Hollywood is you only get to go to work when the casting director says that you get the job. So he would go on auditions, he'd think he nailed it, and then he'd come home and wait for the phone to ring, and sometimes it would, and sometimes it wouldn't. And that meant that our economic life was very rocky. Sometimes we had enough, sometimes we were clipping coupons to fill the grocery basket, and it was really challenging. And I remember as a young kid growing up thinking, I don't ever want to be beholden to someone else as to whether or not I can make my economic way in the world. 
So my philosophy is to share my message from the platforms where I already have influence, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, my Facebook group, uh, you know, places where I already have an audience. And then I balance that with how many outgoing pitches I make to associations, podcast hosts, broadcast hosts, doing publicity, because I know that if I balance those two things, I'm going to have a full calendar of speaking opportunities. And I know that when I'm strategic and thoughtful and choosing the right shows for my message, I'm going to talk to more of the right people that I can ping pong back into my world with my lead magnet or my call to action. And I know that I can have control over my economic destiny. And in a time like COVID-19, where a lot of this is very uncertain, I find that incredibly empowering. And I hope that you do too. So I want you to get ready for the big opportunities now and be the speaker and expert who gets booked which means you're gonna stop winging it and you're gonna get ready to play big and you're gonna believe and behave as if your big win was already real. It is a common and sad story, however, that sometimes people are fumbling and bumbling about and they don't understand their niche or their bio is boring, their speaker sheet is lackluster and not blockbuster, excuse me. Your talk is something you wing instead of a structured tool that leads to reliable sales and you just don't have enough leads, speaking gigs, clients, or cash. So I have a very exciting and free opportunity for you that I can't wait to tell you about. And did I mention that it's free? I would love to invite you to be part of the Be The Podcast Dream Guest Challenge. In five days, you will show up like a pro. You will ask for and get the bookings on the podcast that are right for your message, and you will rock the virtual stage as a media darling who smiles all the way to the bank. During this five-day free challenge with me, you will get rock star ready to succeed because you're going to learn my 6P system. You're going to get bite-sized homework to make steady progress. I take a no client left behind philosophy, so I'm going to look for you and make sure you show up. And if you don't, I'm coming for you because I want you to get the outcomes that we're talking about here. Clients that I've worked with in the past have followed my system to welcome international speaking gigs and be flown all expenses paid to Asia to speak and train. And so what are we gonna cover during these five days? Day one, we're gonna prepare your media one sheet starting with your brilliant door opening 50 word bio so you're ready when opportunity knocks. On day two, we're going to talk about how to position you and your story angle properly for the podcast, radio, or television interview that's right for you. And we're going to prioritize the placements that are best for your message because not all shows are created equal. On day three, I'm going to teach you how to pitch like a pro. I used to own a public relations agency and I know how to pitch a story the media can't resist and I'm going to give you a template that you can use to do the exact same thing and leapfrog ahead without having to spend years in the trenches as a publicist as I already have. On day four, I'm going to teach you about irresistible lead magnets and how to ping pong listeners into your world with a lead magnet that converts. And then on the fifth day, I'm going to teach you how to profit by making powerful invitations that pay off. During this five-day challenge, you get expert access to me, to me, not my junior coach, not my coach and training, to me. I have been helping people with this kind of thing my whole entire multiple decade career, and you're going to get that access in this private community. And you're also going to get the number one Amazon best-selling preview of my brand new Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook so that if you have been struggling to spell out your greatness and broadcast your brilliance on paper or online, we can take that struggle and kick it to the curb because you will have examples of media one sheets, sizzling speaker sheets, and brilliant bios within to help guide your journey and take the struggle out of getting this done. Within this preview, you'll benefit from the signature talk delivery cheat sheet that actually shows you how to build a talk that converts even if you only have 20 minutes to make your point. And you'll also get access to a powerful training I did that offers 
an avenue for you to learn how to make the most of virtual speaking. And I think you're going to love that too. And that's all for free. So what sets this apart? You won't get lost in the crowd. It's almost like private coaching in an intimate community. My Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. You will feel seen, heard, and helped and championed too. And you will be recognized for your stellar successes because every night I'm going to be checking the homework that's been submitted under each video and I'm going to be seeing what you're up to and asking clarifying questions and making sure that you're making progress. If you show up and make this a priority, I will rise up to meet you and you will get value beyond your expectations. Clients are welcoming keynotes twice a month practicing the lessons that I'm teaching in this training. They're being ready for opportunity before it knocks and becoming darlings that are getting invited and referred again and again. If these are the kinds of results that you desire, please join me for the Be The Podcast Dream Guest Challenge because you may soon be speaking virtually worldwide without even leaving your home and speaking to more of the right people that you can ping pong back into your world. And that would be the potential for plenty of new connections, collaborations, clients, and cash. So the unparalleled mentoring that you're going to get from me in the group, you'll love it. When you take control over your own destiny and you learn how to speak more from your own platforms and from the platforms of others, you will have more opportunity than you know what to do with. And then your big challenge will be how you are going to be managing it all. Now you can be in the I'm getting ready to get ready club and think I'll get to that later, or you can make this a priority now and benefit from this training that I'm going to so enthusiastically deliver for you. So are you a member of the Getting Ready to Get Ready Club? And are you ready to drop out? Because I want you to join me for the Be The Podcast Dream Guest Challenge. And I want you to want your result enough to get a little bit uncomfortable because there are a million podcasts looking for guests just like you. And if you just knew how to make your approach, that could be the game changer that would give you that power over your upside that you've been craving for as you've been navigating this pandemic that we've all been dealing with. So what do you do? You visit this link that you see on your screen, bit.ly forward slash podcast dream guest. And you sign up. That means you offer your name and your email address. And then instantaneously, your Bye Bye Boring Bio preview for the 2020 workbook will deliver to your inbox. And you'll be on the path to making your business better as a result of the training that I'm going to provide. You will own your expertise. And when we're done in this five days, you will speak more and earn more and you'll transform from an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan who's ready to partner with perfect people to make your magic. And won't that be a brilliant outcome? So say yes, please. And join me for the podcast Dream Guest Challenge. All the fun starts on September 8th and we continue through the 14th. So it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You'll have the weekend to catch up on the replays and we'll finish strong on Monday. And that's it. That's what we've got coming up. So here's where you go. bit.ly forward slash podcast dream guest. You can open up another browser and just type in this link and go there. And here's something else. This is free and you wanna show up every day live for the training and you will get the benefit of having to enjoy the training and the workbook that I've discussed, the, the, the workbook preview rather. But if you're gonna be on vacation or you've got other things that you're trying to juggle, I also want you to know that you can, for the flexibility and convenience, go ahead and upgrade to VIP if you so desire. That means that on the thank you page, it says, would you like to have access to the full length Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook and have lifetime forever access to all of the replays? And if that is your desire, you can upgrade and make that choice for $97. And then if you want the actual workbook to wing its way to your house, provided you live in the United States of America, you'll be given the opportunity to make that upgrade as well. So you can join us for free completely. And if you want the ease and convenience of having Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020, the complete workbook 
complete with 11 videos, two audios, and a workbook within the workbook to help you pitch like you are a pitching winner, then it's simply $97 to do that as well. So I would love to have you join me for the Be The Podcast Dream Guest Challenge. I've been behind the scenes preparing the training, preparing the homework. I think this is going to be my finest hour as a trainer and a coach, and I would love to have you along for the ride. So please join me for this Podcast Dream Guest Challenge. I look forward to seeing you in the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook community. As I checked today, we had 1,165 members, and hopefully when you are complete with having watched this video, you will be there too, and we will have an amazing time together. All the magic begins on September 8th in the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. I hope I'll see you there. My name is Nancy Jutton, and I am the creator of the podcast Dream Guest Challenge and the author of the Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 workbook. And I can't wait for you to join me when the magic begins September 8th, 2020. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Can't wait. Bye-bye for now.